Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel once again. Sorry for not facing the camera and skipping the basic introduction once again. So today's topic is one of our favorite tech stocks, Nano Dimensions. Now the video will be about NNDM stock, its latest updates, latest news, what's going on with Nano Dimension and what the future looks like for Nano Dimension. Of course, we'll be also discussing what will be my strategy and Yes, my price target for Nano Dimensions. Now, those who are interested to support the channel and join our amazing family of Patreons, guys, you are most welcome. The link will be in the description of the video. And reason why you should be joining the family is because we make gains there. I'm calling the stocks quite early there before I put them here on YouTube platform because I really cannot uh, make video on every single stock which we discussed there. And that's why this is an upside of joining the patrons community so anyways if you guys are interested then like i said the link will be in the description of the video and guys please 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 leave an early like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet then what are you waiting for guys please hit that subscribe button as well and like always i really appreciate if you leave a comment because your opinion always matters so disclaimer which i always have to mention that i am not a financial advisor and i'm not here to suggest you to buy or sell anything this video is purely for entertainment purposes only so today's topic is guys one of our favorite companies out there nano dimensions and we talked about this stock when it was at 2.5 dollars and we are bullish since then my amazing early patron brothers got into this stock with me and we are really happily relaxed with every direct offering and not just that guys we know that how the intelligent machines from nano dimensions for fabrication ame and other electronic components with time and money saving 3d printing technology with just one click from cat data and will give you a functional high performing ame device is a disruptive technology and that's why guys these direct offerings are really not bothering me in fact the more it falls the more i'm gonna add so anyways let's jump on to the latest updates from nano dimensions so nano dimension did the biggest direct offering in the history of this company and this is not the first time we are noticing this they have practiced it five to six times in the previous five to six months and the investors in this particular company we are very well aware about this because whenever the price reaches an all-time highs they do this so this is not that bad and also this is good in a way because this gives the chance for the new investors to jump in as usually after a direct offering the price is falling a bit and in case of nano dimensions it does fall but then does come back even stronger and we will see this in the chart in a few moments plus also this is helping the company to build up some strong cash position to fill up their upcoming projects in 2021 and further because they will need it as soon as the economy reopens for this particular type of industry so now coming on to the nano dimension chart and i will go through this quickly just to show you guys that how beautiful actually this chart has become in the past three to four months so as you can see right here that with every direct offering the price has dropped yeah but it has made every time a new high yeah so as you can see right here every time it has made new highs so after a direct offering it moves uh, let's say at this when it forms such a pattern it it stays or fluctuates at some lower levels for one week or so so as you can see right here but then it comes back up with a really new high and this was has made this chart quite consistent so you can see that at this level then it formed another pattern at this level then it formed another pattern at this level and then i'm supposing that it will form a same pattern at this level it will fall like we are seeing after a direct offering it will fall a bit and then a same pattern like this will form and then it may rise up but anyways who knows so considering the volume we should definitely not worried about the volume so as you can see a minimum volume of 20 to 25 an average volume of 20 to 25 million is coming on to nano dimension every single day and this is nothing to worry about so as you can see right here here there was a spike in the volume so the price actually went up so this was a direct offering i guess and uh, it was around 100 million so yes volume is definitely not an issue in this case and you can see there is there are some sell-offs but then they are backed up by big uh, buy-ins as well so yeah so i think direct offering in case of nano dimension 
is a blessing in disguise especially when arc is grabbing every single chance when nano dimension is uh, doing an offering this is actually also good for the company so they are of course building up a strong financial position but i hope that they are not just dependent upon this method to build up a strong cash position i hope they will focus on the business as well and i see that they are doing quite good with the business and this recent news right here actually proves that that they are quite ahead in the business as well so nano dimension received a patent approval from both the us and the korea patents and trademark offices for innovative dielectric ink so nano dimension was recently granted a patent under the following patent number for rigid flexible printed circuit boards or pcbs fabrication using inkjet printing according to the us patent filing so this is how flexible pcbs look like and these flexible pcbs are then mounted into flexible rigid composite electronics which actually represents a new generation of electronics which can exhibit properties of both stretching as well as bending flexibility these properties will afford electronic devices with conformity to bending and twisting as well as the capability to stretch and compress over a large strain scale because of their soft and conformable nature stretchable electronics have shown great potential in biomedical engineering example epidermal electronic devices and implantable devices as well as as a growing demand for wearable electronics as well and other industries such as sensors and antennas with complex geometry or rfids to be placed under curved objects so these are some of the uses and applications of flexible pcbs so nano dimension has been trying to build a really good momentum of its flagship dragonfly product a 3d printing system for electronic circuitry as of the company's third quarter update nano dimension has sold 60 machines leading to blue chip companies but sales of dragonfly systems has of course taken a hit due to the current circumstances but the management said and believes that sales will likely recover as the economy reopens and that's why guys this can be a good chance to invest in this company now the price is at a bit higher point but still i think that opening up a small position is not that bad especially when it is backed up by kathy woods and arc investments so i personally think that this company has huge room for growth still and has huge upcoming potential especially in the electronic 3d printing industry so as you can see right here the actual enterprise value has been decreasing year over year but on the other hand the average equity value has been increasing and thanks to all those direct offerings for this so this can be included into the company's assets and thus increasing the shareholders equity and if they follow this process then their financials will definitely be at a stronger position but on the other hand i also hope that they don't just concentrate on this process of direct offerings every time to be dependent on extra cash and they also should plan to strengthen up their enterprise value which is right here to strengthen up their core business so this is a really important point and a factor which should be a matter of concern for the investors at least it is for me but anyways apart from everything else uh, considering if everything goes well for nano dimension and if they follow this path of upgrading the technology with time and innovation then i think that the price target which nano dimension can reach could be somewhere between 20 to 25 dollars in the coming one to two years so that's it guys that's all for today i will see you in the next one uh, uh see i'm not sure about that but at least you will hear from me in the next one for sure so till then stay safe stay happy stay healthy and ciao